Begin by acquiring the following components, an Arduino Uno, an IR receiver, an IR LED, a breadboard, an IR remote of some kind, and a 100 ohm resistor. Connect these components following the schematic shown here, being careful to connect the receiver and LED correctly. Next, go to the IR remote GitHub repository, link in the description, and download the zip. Open the zip, navigate to Documents, Arduino, Libraries, and place the IR remote folder here. Create a new Arduino sketch, go to Examples, and open the IR remote Receive Dump example. Here you can read exactly how the receive code works if you would like. Upload the sketch to your Arduino and open your serial monitor. Take any infrared remote, point it towards the IR receiver, and press the button you would like to decode. A lot of information will print to the serial monitor once you press the button, and this info contains everything you need to know about the code that was sent. At the top of the output, the protocol, address, command, and raw data can be seen for the IR transmission the Arduino just received. Below this line, the code tells us exactly how to send this same command using the Arduino. Repeat this process for each button on the remote and take note of the command value. The address should stay the same for all commands as long as you are using the same remote. Now that we've got the protocol that the remote uses and the commands we want to transmit, create a new sketch and start by importing the IR remote library using hashtag include. Then, Create an object of type irsend and name it whatever you would like. In the setup function, use the set send pin function to set the pin that is connected to the IR LED as the send pin, which is pin 5 in this example. To easily see which commands to send, I recommend writing out the protocol and the command values and what they do in comments so you know exactly what you need to send. Since my remote uses the NEC protocol, I will be using the send NEC function to send commands. For your own remote, use the suggested send function that the receive dump sketch printed after decoding the command. Specify the address, then the command value, and then the amount of times you would like it repeated. If you are unsure about the amount of repeats, a good starting number is 3 and can be adjusted from there. Add a delay with length of your choosing in between commands and send as many commands as you'd like. At this point, you'll be able to upload the sketch to your Arduino and it will loop through these commands by sending pulses out to the infrared LED. Make sure your IR LED is pointed at the desired IR receiver and is fairly close range. Since I'm communicating with my LED strip, I want to make my commands random and last for a random amount of time so it will give me a little light show. To do this, I made an array in the global space that holds all of the command values I want the Arduino to transmit. I want the lights to always be on at the beginning, so in the setup function, I use the send NEC function to transmit the on signal when the Arduino starts up. Then, in the loop function, I use the send NEC command and specify the address, a random command using the random and size of functions, and then repeat for a random amount between 1 and 9 times. Uploading this to the Arduino results in a random light show. Congratulations! You can now control any IR device with your Arduino. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.